Hey, leave it on so I can hear if you guys are trash talking me, right? Right. <laughs> this guy can't sing at all. Justin Tucker is yeah. not your typical NFL kicker. Test one, two. What's up, guys? Can you hear me? Yes. Sing Doe a Deer. Doe a Deer, a female deer. All right. My art occurs over the course of 1.3 seconds. This 1.3 second field goal operation from the snap to the hold to the kick is a performance. It is choreographed specifically, then rehearsed literally thousands upon thousands of times. Kick on the way. It is long enough. It is good. To me, in those 1.3 seconds, lies a sort of cathartic beauty. Almost paradoxically, I become so engaged, so focused, that I lose myself in that moment. Much like a musician who performs a piece that he has studied and rehearsed time and time again. Let's take it from the, uh, from the tippy top there. Is there anybody you've run across in the NFL that's that's kind of traveled the road you've you've traveled? I, I would guess the answer is no. You know, I, I don't really know. I'm sure there's a couple guys that have, uh, you know, played football and sung a little opera on the side. Yeah. Um. Tucker has only been singing opera since college, but is as comfortable belting out O Sola Mio as he is splitting the uprights. A 61-yard try, Justin Tucker. Kick on the There's a sort of therapeutic thing that happens when, you know, I see a ball split the uprights. Same type of feeling I will get when I'm singing. You know, when I put on those headphones and everything just disappears for a minute, everybody's looking for their release or their outlet. And mine just happens to be, uh, you know, I'll come home and uh, I'll play a couple licks on the guitar or I'll, you know, sing in the shower. A lot of times when he yeah. sings his opera and it's in the shower yeah and so not only we hear it, everybody hears it because it usually echoes throughout the locker room it's impressive i don't know where it comes from it comes from god i guess you know it's way down deep inside uh it's like this kid who kicks footballs who's like kind of a silly happy-go-lucky guy walking around a building and next thing you know he's belting out you know uh, uh, <laughs> I'd love to give you the name of some opera, but I don't have one, you know, at the tip of my tongue right here. At some point, you know, you're different than everybody else singing, everybody trying to karaoke a U2 song, and then all of a sudden, you know, you, you can do it plus. How, how did you get involved in, in all this vocal stuff? Part of my degree requirements was that I had to sing, uh, take voice lessons. I found out that it was something I really like to do, and it was a style of music I'd never really thought about before. I don't know if that makes me, you know, like a jack of all trades or a renaissance man or any label that I've heard before, but that's just kind of like what I like to do. You know, if I'm going to get involved in something, I'm going to, you know, really commit to it and have a good time with it. Tucker can perform opera in seven different languages, but his talents extend beyond music. Now, see, with your brains, my good looks, can't we run this town? See? It's kind of like a diluted Jim Carrey. So, you know, he's very comical. I feel like I can hit y'all with a little of the Ray Lewis. A little <laughs> sugar, a little sugar to Ray. If we don't have each other, we have nothing else. Listen. 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 I've been doing this for a long time. 16 games plus 20 if you count the preseason, which I do. Whatever legacy you want to leave in this life, leave it now. This is a time to leave your mark. Leave your legacy. Today is our legacy. Let's leave our footprint. The first one that we saw, I guess, when he was a rookie was um, 
Christopher Walken. Mm -hmm. uh, he did that as, a, as his rookie show. You know, two little mice, they fell in a bucket of cream. The first mouse, he quickly gave up and he drowned. And then the second mouse, he, he worked so hard that eventually, you know, it was good for him, you know, good, good for him. He, he churned that cream right into butter. I've got, like, Barney the Purple Dinosaur. Yeah. Hill Milligan. Wow. It's that's... her old friend, Barney. <laughs> Did that's everybody really... like to kick a football? That's really good, actually. I feel like, uh, I feel like Barney's in the room right Barney now. Barney is here. On the field, the Ravens resident Pavarotti imitates a four-time Super Bowl champion. Adam Vinatieri is, is kind of your idol. You know, while I was in high school, and still to this day, I'll, when I'm training on my own, I'll end with a 48-yarder from the right hash. 48-yard field goal attempt. Set to go, snap, ball down, kick up. Kick is on the way, and it is good! It's good! It's good! Uh, that's one of the, the greatest parts of sports in, as a whole, is seeing one guy propel his team to that winning moment. That's what I think every athlete strives, strives for. That's what you want to be a part of. Would you go for a career in music if, if this didn't work out? I was actually in residential real estate for a short while. I was in school. I got my license about halfway through school. So I'd kind of like to combine a few different things, you know, performing arts, recording, real estate, close a deal just like, congratulations on your new house. <laughs> oh, my god. It ain't over until the fat lady sings, and until then, the skinny kicker will have to settle for making music on the field. Shut up.